hey, it's the old man here, and uh, sun's out, lady's got fresh water, she's happy. Um, show and tell time. These are pretty easy to do. I enjoy these ones. Um, if anybody knows how to download or upload to YouTube fast, let me know. It takes a long time. So we'll get into the vault of photographs. Fudge sickle, always a hit. I built this box in my eighth grade in metal shop. Back when they let us use dangerous tools, metal lathe, uh, acetylene torches, arc welding. Well, not in grades or in junior high, we didn't do it. That was in high school. But um, yeah, my nephew gave this back to me. We made a trade years ago and I got it back. Thank you, Jay. And nineteen thirty-six Dodge. Let's see here. No pictures or no notes on the back. Okay. Um, 1936 Dodge. What a machine. Um, yeah, we like doing these black and white pictures. And you know, back then you couldn't just change from color to black and white with the push of a button. Now you have to. Well, back then we had to get black and white film and da 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 da, do all that stuff. It was pretty involved, but uh, yeah, I thought they looked cool, and that was a good machine. Flathead six, um, three speed on the floor, running boards. That's where my foot's standing. Here's at the house. And it looks like I just washed it. Um, cool old house. I only paid, I think, 50 bucks a month for rent. It was all burned out when I got it, and I fixed all the windows and did all this and that and stuff. And when I finally did pay rent, I think it might have been 75. Mm. Got that cup going here. And here is the bullet nose Studebaker and the 36 Dodge in my makeshift shop. Um, yeah, kept the rain off, it was good enough. Didn't have a stove or anything. Uh, yeah, always playing with cars. It's a good hobby. And here is Randy and I. Rest in peace, brother. Um, the day we took this picture, a friend of mine, Nick, did it. Thank you very much, Nick. Um, we got pulled over by an older, gray-haired state patrol. And uh, he pulled us over, and he says, Boys, are you in a hurry? No, no, yeah, we're okay. And he goes, good. And he walked up to the car just like I am. He took his well-pressed slacks and grabbed it by the knee put his foot on the running board and he said, boys, it's been a long time. <laughs> and all he wanted to do was talk about the car. He said he had one when he was a kid. Uh, we popped the hood, looked at the motor, looked things over. Um, he liked it. And we kind of felt weird when he said, what's the trunk look like? But no, he didn't do that. He, we never opened the trunk. He was very friendly, very nice man. Um, when I see officers now, I just tell them, thank you for doing a thankless job. I, I couldn't imagine trying to be in that position nowadays. Um, yeah, this Dodge had uh, white Naga hide seats front and back that were sticky. If it was hot out, it was horrible. We put a couple of Indian blankets over the front and back seat. It worked good. Um, good friend of mine, Tom, had this and he always wanted the 47 Studebaker truck, so we, <coughs> excuse me, uh, negotiated back and forth, and finally, he goes, I'll give you the 36 Dodge for the Studebaker truck, and I took it. Um, yeah, fun rig. Had the head off, flathead six, three speed on the floor. If you notice what Randy's doing, He's holding his hand over the hole in the grill. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. He was thinking. Um, 
Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The windshield, you could, on the dashboard, was like a crank, and you could screw the windshield out probably, I don't know, four or six inches in the summertime. It was pretty cool. In fact, when you're talking about international trucks, my brother-in-law, we went and bought a Rambler station wagon, and the old man, boy, that's a common word, he um, had a 47 international truck, and it also, the windshield, could be screwed out like that. And he bought it, because the guy just was in the mood to sell stuff, I guess. On the way home, the battery goes dead. We're at the gas station. She had six volt. We didn't have any jumper cables, apparently. Under the seat, we find the hand crank starter. Well, what do you think? And so, all we've ever heard about is people breaking their wrist using a hand crank starter and so we were kind of nervous about doing it but we stuck that crank in there and used our foot i did fired it up couldn't believe it so i guess i can add that to my list of things i've done to actually start a car with a hand crank this car had a hole in the grill so that you could start it I, we never had the crank for it but you could start it up with the uh, hand crank starter apparently that was a common thing back in the day um Cool. Bullet nose, uh, not bullet nose, teardrop headlights, um, running boards. It was really a fun car to drive. And here, see if I can get this one. Here's the wife and I. There's that big hole in the grill Randy covered up. Um, yeah, it was fun doing that, dressing up and, and going through all the rigmarole to get the pictures taken and developed and all that stuff. Um, had a lot of fun. Vacuum windshield wipers. Um, if you were going up a hill, you had to let off the gas sometimes to make them work. Yes, they did. Um, so I'm going on seven minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. I got more pictures of cars. Um, I'll bring them out. And I'll show you a couple previews. 1957 Chevy station wagon. Uh, I paid, I think, $300 for it. It ran good. And at the time, I was safety conscious, so I wanted to have seat belts. This didn't have them. I think it was like 64 when they started putting seat belts in. Um, this car was so rusted out, I needed a, a washer as big as a garbage can lid to make it be effective. But I, uh, not quite that bad, but you know what I mean. It had a lot of rust in it. Um, yeah, I drove that for quite a while. It was kind of fun. So, you take care and remember this. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. I, count, I don't have a clue where I took this picture. Um, but, it's words to, word for the wise. Yeah, I'm getting to that point where anything could happen, but I'm uh, doing good now. I'm still in the vertical club, I call it. So you take care. Enjoy the weather. Uh, got cloudy days coming up, but no rain that I can see. So you take care, and um, God bless America. Bye.